Welcome to the second part of this Product Cost Controlling in SAP course. I hope you enjoyed the first part of the course. And don't worry if you were not able to understand every single little thing we went through. All of the costing related terms and elements will become clear to you when you can see how they actually work in the system. This part of the course will focus on the planning of costs in the system and creating a standard cost estimate for a product. If you have taken other SAP training courses before, you will quickly realize that we are doing things a little bit differently. When we go into the system, we will not first go through every single configuration structure, then through every possible master data element, and then start examining the functionality of different transactions. Instead, we will be jumping around a little bit between cost planning transactions, master data, and configuration at the same time. In my opinion, you can only fully understand what different system configuration options really mean when you can see how the settings work in practice. Going through configurations one screen at a time is usually just a waste of time, so we try to avoid that. When you are accessing the course materials, you can see that there is an Excel file available for you to download. This Excel file is a summary of nearly everything we will be doing in the system. It includes all the relevant master data items and all the example costs I will be maintaining. Please keep this Excel file open through the course as it will help you to understand the logic of how the system is calculating and allocating different costs. This second part of the course is divided into three main chapters. During the first chapter, I will mostly discuss costing related master data, focusing on bill of materials and master recipes. During the second chapter, we will discuss how costs are planned in the system and how we can calculate prices for activity types. During the third and final chapter, I will show you how to create a standard cost estimate for our finished pulp product using a costing run. So now it's time to finally open the system and start learning how costing in SAP works in practice.